So a developing story we've been following throughout the day. Governor Cuomo wants to make another installment in his billion-dollar promise for Buffalo. The governor is rolling out plans for a multi-million dollar research facility here. News 4's Rich Newberg is live in the newsroom with details. Rich? And UB researchers are calling this an exciting day for the future of research and medicine here in western New York. The governor has made a major commitment to Buffalo. In his election year State of the State address, Governor Andrew Cuomo announced that Buffalo will play a leading role in the new medical frontier of genomic research. A hundred million dollar research center in Buffalo would link the medical corridor with the genome center in Manhattan and the CNSE Nano Center in Albany. It's creating hundreds of jobs and an entirely new industry for Western New York, so let's get at it. The governor was introduced by Pat Radke, the Ford Stamping Plant's UAW Local 879 president. The governor came to the Woodlawn plant in November to support Ford's new $150 million investment here, support by the state in the way of tax credits and capital investment. The Ford investment is just the latest surge of companies relocating to Western New York. They all see the activity in the region and they want to be part of it. The governor is calling for increased penalties for official misconduct in state government. Cheektowaga Assemblyman Dennis Gabrzak, accused by seven current or former female aides of sexual harassment, did not attend the governor's address. He is expected to attend Monday's session of the assembly. And we're going to pass ethics reform because we're going to change the system because we understand your concern that there seems to be a pattern of these repeated instances of bad acts. The governor has also unveiled his $2 billion tax relief proposal, which includes property tax rebates for homeowners in certain municipalities and a cut in the corporate tax rate from 7.1% to 6.5%. Which would be the lowest corporate rate since 1968 and really send a strong signal to business saying this is a different day and we're doing it a different way. The governor is also committing to the use of medical marijuana in New York on a limited basis. Dr. Peter Ostro will have the latest on that coming up at 530.